Magical Maiden. Welcome to Magical Maiden's Jewelry Tutorials. Today we're going to make a craft of a necklace with different colors, two different colors and shapes. Now you can do this with three different colors, but we're going to do it this way. First thing you're going to need is some of this material. Now you can find this at Hobby Lobby in the felt section and then they have materials section. It's almost like a mat. The black one is more like a cardstock because I couldn't find any black glitter that was really, you know, very glittery. <laughs> and they have different shades and col they have different colors and they have this and they have green and you've seen most of them. It's material basically. Okay. So for today's it's going to be silver and it's going to be black. So now what I did was I traced out some shapes and I don't think you can see this and this they're going to have to be fixed a little because they're not even. This is the centerpiece. Okay. And you can get one of the corded necklaces. You could buy them in bunches. And what I did was I, you're going to cut the middle one larger. Now these are longer, but they're going to be shorter because what I did was I folded this and you can use something that you want. I basically put it over here. I folded this and then I put some E6000 glue. You can sew it. You could put like a thread that will match. I did a little sewing and I also did that. I'm letting this dry and then this will go through the cord. It'll fit through this end. And then what we're going to do is the same thing with this and the same thing with this. And they're going to go on either side like so. I still have to fix the trimming and then we're going to do another silver smaller and then another black even smaller then two end pieces which will be different shapes. So you're going to need your scissors, some thread and needle, some E6000 glue and a toothpick to apply it, something to wrap around it. Okay, you're going to need a cord of some sort or you can use a choker, but I would use a cord. It'll be permanent. You can have it. And this way you don't have to use jump rings and poke holes and make it look messy. You want it to be seamless. So when I am done with these, you're going to see, I'll show you this step when I fold it. Um, then when I do the end piece, they're going to be a little different. Okay. Now, for just tutorial purposes, I didn't do the back, but what you're going to do uh, is do the back. You're going to cut out another one exactly the same shape and you're going to glue them together. Okay. And then you're going to roll it, put a stitch in the middle and then some glue. So make sure it's tall enough and that's what you're going to do. Now this is cardstock, and if you want to get the same thing, you could do the same thing. Cut out the same shape, so this way it looks good in the front and in the back. Now I'm only doing this for tutorial purposes and time that I'm not cutting out both sides. Uh, but you know, you want to do both sides, especially if you're going to make it to give as a gift or to sell. And of course, if you're wearing it yourself, you want it to look nice on the other side. Okay, so you're going to have to cut out two of each shape because they're going to be glued together very gently and then you tap it and make sure the edges all match, trim any excess, and then you can do your curling part, even with cardstock or this material, which is like a mat, a placement. Okay, so with that, I'm going to finish trimming and shaping this. And then I'm going to make two smaller ones in silver, okay? So I've taken the template and I've wrapped it around. Now remember, you will have a backing on here, okay? You will have two, two of these glued together and then you fold. So if you're using cardstock, I would not use the thread and needle because cardstock will make a hole. So what I would do with the material you can, 
but with the cardstock, I would use glue. So what I did was, now remember, this side will be the same as the front because you're cutting two of each and you're gluing them together with E6000 glue and a toothpick. You're going to spread the glue, make sure it's even, cut the edges. Then you're going to bend it over and use something like a pen or the tip of a paintbrush. Make sure you look to see the length so that it's not too short or not too long compared to the middle because you want it shorter than the centerpiece. Fold it over, use it, just put a little glue and squeeze it a little bit and then wait till you think it adhere. Take a little paper towel, make sure you, you can get the excess off, even later you can pick it, but make sure that you squeeze that and kind of hold that for a while. And then when it's, make sure it's all even and let it sit around here for a while. When it's dry, then you can stick it through there and on either side of the centerpiece, okay? The other piece. All right, so now I got the other pieces and I have to make sure that these are even shorter. So just so you know what it's gonna look like. I'm sorry, I know it's not facing you. These are drying, so I can't put them through yet. I want to make sure the glue is drying. So this is going to sit like that. This is going to sit like that on either side. Then I'm going to do, of course, like I said, you would cut two for each and glue it so the back looks just like the front. <laughs> you would have it like that, back to back. Okay, but for jewelry tutorial purposes. I'm doing it like this just to show you. So we need it shorter. I got, because this is the material and not the cardstock, we can use some thread and E6000 glue. But for the cardstock, if you're going to use cardstock, which is better to use the matte material, but it doesn't matter. If you can't find the color you want, you can use cardstock as well. Um, but I would, now they did have a black in the material but I wasn't fond of the shimmer on it it just looked wet it didn't look glittery so now this is going to be a little shorter and thinner so how much shorter you gotta I wanted this shorter okay like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold that and I'm gonna use this. I'm going to go like that. Now I'm going to get a needle and thread and I'm going to kind of put it on the back through this side so that the end of my thread knot goes underneath. Go from the back, pull, now do another loop, and pull tight. If you can find silver glitter thread you can do that okay so you're gonna kind of knot it and now you could add some glue to hold that stitch in place once you got that okay but now I'm gonna make this one the same length so I'm going to have to fold it and I want to make sure it indeed will be the same length. So I'm going to show you. You're going to go, you're going to go in through the back so that the knot does not show. Okay, so now I'm going to add the glue. It's sewn, and again, the back will look just like the front. Okay, so now I'm doing the other pieces. And I got it like that. I can trim off excess, but I'm going to add some E6000 glue and then I'm going to do the same to the other piece. So now what we're going to do is I've cut all the pieces. I'm letting them dry. And this is what it's going to look like. Hopefully they're all dry now. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is put your two end pieces. They should look something like this. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the first one in. Okay, so I have to remove, 
the chain. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the other pieces through there. And it should look something like this. And it should look just like that. Now, if you don't like the end pieces, you can always put a bead. But I wanted that. And let's see if you're seeing this is like, there it is. It's really simple. It's easy to do. The hardest part is cutting out the shapes and then finding out what you want for end pieces. But that's what I did. You could cut out any shape for the end piece. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect the bottom parts and then I'm going to make sure that these are adhered better. They can go over the end black pieces like that. That's why. And I really like the way it looks. So let's see what it looks like on. So here it is. This is what it's going to look like. Um, you probably can't see the shimmer and the shine too much, but that's how I did it. It was so that's how I did it. It was really super easy. So that's how I did it. It was super easy. You can do this any color combination you want. That's how I did it. It was simple. It was easy. You just have to cut out the shapes part, getting them even. But remember, you have to do the back. I didn't do the back on these but you're going to want to do the back. Now here I did little triangle ends, but you could easily do that. And I glued it, but you can use stitching. This was cardstock, so I just used glue. I didn't want to go ahead and use stitching because if you poke a needle through the cardstock, it's going to leave a hole and white will be on the back of it. So your best bet is to get the material that looks just like the black cardstock but you could certainly use the cardstock either way they're both very inexpensive and then you get this cord choker you can get them in bulk if you go to rings and things or even if you don't need a bunch of them it depends I chose black because my colors were silver and black but you can have any I have a bunch of different color ones so you can use the rose gold and silver or you can use three colors if you want like see where i got the black and the black and the silver then you can do for the little pieces a different color or the ends but that's how it looks i really like it i wanted this these pieces to kind of look like a collar so that's why i did it and i'm really happy with the final result and i think you will be too and i love the way it shimmers in the light so I hope you liked this jewelry tutorial, and if you did, please give it a like. Remember to subscribe if you haven't been subscribed yet, and to click that notification bell so you're notified when I upload my newest content. Also, also share this with anyone you think that might be interested in doing this craft. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my videos. Bye!